Hello! In this video, we'll take a quick look at some features of Python Tools for Visual Studio version 2.0, targeting Django development as well as Windows Azure. First off is project creation. We have a Django template which will get you started with a structure like the one you would get creating a Django project from the console. New in PTVS 2.0 is support for virtual environments. In Solution Explorer, you can easily add a new virtual environment for your project or reuse an existing one. Now I've created a virtual env base on Python 2.7, which is what we need to use for deployment to Windows Azure. Now let's install a package in a virtual environment. You can choose to install using pip or easy install and we'll install Django using pip. Once Django is installed, you can hit F5 to view the default Django welcome page. This starts the development server with the browser of your choice. Then you can add a Django app to your project using Add Django app. Now let's fast forward to a project with a completed Django app. The Django app is a simple polls application. We're rendering pages using Django templates. PTVS has special support for Django templates with syntax coloring and IntelliSense. IntelliSense will show you built in and user defined tags. It will also show you the variables that are passed into your Django template and it will show you built-in and user-defined filters. The database settings tell Django to use the SQL Server driver along with the database connection info. For those that prefer MySQL, that's also available as a service on Windows Azure. New in PTVS 2.0 is the Django Management Console. You can sync the DB, which I've already done, and you can open the Django shell, and there you can manipulate the objects in your database. I'll get all the polls. and each poll has multiple choices. So this gives you great IntelliSense against the live objects. With PTVS, it's easy to debug your Django app. You can set breakpoints in the Python code, such as this function that gets called when a user submits its vote. You can also put breakpoints in Django templates. We'll press F5. We'll navigate to the page. We hit the breakpoint in the template and we can inspect the variables that are passed in. And we can continue here to step inside the template. Now I can look at choice. I'll hit continue. Submit my vote. And we hit the breakpoint in the Python code here. Let's see. the choice was website. To publish to an Azure website, right-click on the Django project node and select Publish. We'll import our published profile. Here I've already downloaded the published profile and selected it. 
I'll choose my subscription. And now I have the option of creating a new website directly from here. Hit create. I don't need to select a database or create a database. It's already been done. I'll hit OK. Next, next, and publish. And if we look at the output window, uh, it tells you that it's collecting the static files. So any style sheets, images that you're using in your website, uh, you don't need to run the command line Django collect static. It's doing that for you in publishing. When it's done publishing, your browser automatically opens to your website. And we're running in a Windows Azure website. Thanks for watching this overview of Django and Azure functionality in PTVS 2.0. For more detailed tutorials on these features, check out the links to our documentation and other videos. Bye!